Hello and welcome guys. In this video we'll be looking into the most recent update on test sites of we play function. Let's dive in and I'll explain what I like. So straight away we can see a list of our previous games. We can lock certain files and unlock them, and also delete certain games as well. Let's hop into this one. So we begin in the plane following our own character. Thankfully the plane isn't blaring in our ears. The first thing that I've noticed wasn't mentioned is that you can press X for X-ray vision. This shows all players silhouetted in yellow so they are visible through walls, the plane and other solid objects. We can also press J to bring up the timeline. This allows us to see the markers for the kills that a currently selected player has during the game. DBNOs for the same player, and also the ability to slow down and speed up the game. Shortcuts for the speed are the up and down arrows. You can see it moves in 0.25 increments from 0.25x up to 2x. Press J again to remove that bar. Now you can press P which will pause the game and almost all the entities within, as my parachute is clearly exempt from that. But everything else will pause, and you can really see the detail of each frame. This will help in critical analysis of a situation. Pressing P again will unpause the recording. Moving on, you can press either F or space, and this will drop your view of the current player, and you can free look around, using the W, A, S and D keys to move, Q to step up, or E to step down, and using shift and control to adjust your camera speed. When you're pointing at a player, you can left or right click to spectate or follow that player respectively. And while you are viewing that player, C or right click will follow the player in third person, while V or left click will spectate them in first person. You can then press B to return to your own character from anywhere without looking at them. You can also press tab which will open the player list for you. This has an adjustable bar for distance so you can narrow the search down. Also pressing L will open the battle list and this will detail any current enemies within engagement range and any engagements that have already begun, such as taking fire from an enemy or hitting one. This is based on your currently selected player. All of these features are based in the recorded zone which is a 1km radius or 2km diameter from your own character. Players outside this region will not be viewable, this region is viewable on the map. So using the kill marker on the timeline, I can view when my kills occurred and view them for analysis. By clicking on the timeline, we can scrub through the recording a lot faster. Here on the map, we can see two airdrop locations, the remaining players and plenty of other information. On the battle list, we can see nearby players and other engagements as well. So here I have the game paused to try and view the other player. During the gameplay, I was wondering why he hadn't pushed towards the circle, but his position was actually very clever. We must have both been just slightly out of each other's field of view here. Moving slightly forward, I was shot from behind, a silly mistake to not be watching my own back, but I was very focused on finding the current threat where I knew there was an enemy located. Only a single hit landed, and thankfully the other player started to engage my shooter, which gave me a reprieve. We can also see a new item in the battle list, Engaged Enemies. This was the player that shot at me. There you have the controls for using the replay function. It's a great help to let you know what happened in the game, and how you either made an awesome kill or was taken out by what you might have thought to be an impossible shot. I hope you guys jump into the replay function as it will really help you become so much better at the game. You'll find new things you never thought possible. If there's anything I've missed then please let me know in the comments and also if there's anything I should focus my next videos on. I've already got several gameplay breakdowns to sort out so they're coming as well. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're new this helps me more than you realise. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.